This is a weird one. Tesla owner implants chip in hand to open car access data. Why do you have to insert it, uh, the chip there? That looks so uncomfortable the way he's tapping the arm there. Yeah. It's like my, my wrist hurts looking at that. I guess they probably uh -huh. thought it through where you could put it and have it not really affect you very much. Uh -huh. One Tesla owner has found a rather unconventional way of opening his vehicle. But the phone already does it, Well, I guess maybe you forget the phone, the phone gets stolen, you're still getting in the Tesla. Which is cool. Yeah. I don't know if I want the implant. The first one was a little bit smaller. It wasn't as intense as shoving a giant rod into my hand. The first one came preloaded into a larger syringe. They pushed the syringe in and they popped in the chip, similar to how they would microchip a dog. Brandon is part of a beta group of around 100 people that are trialing the chips, which are made by a company called VivoKey. The chips are coated in biocompatible substances and get encapsulated by the body tissue soon after implantation. Brandon explained how the chip's capabilities are constantly evolving through downloadable features. The company put this together literally has its own app store where you can wirelessly install apps to your body with these chips. Ugh. And one of the apps just happened to be a Tesla key card. So that was the first app I installed on it because I have a Tesla. And now I use that as my key when my Bluetooth key fails. Or I don't have my key card. Just use your hand. Fun, oh. A fun party trick is what they also say. Hmm. What kind of apps are you putting on this thing? Yeah. You and just, what if your chip gets hacked? NFC? Like, am I paying with my implant as well? I, I don't mind. But my phone is always there. I, I'm not in a rush yeah. for the implant. And considering the fact that TikTok's already key logging, you want to let TikTok in there? You want TikTok in your oh, implant? You want a TikTok implant? In my body? It's funny how we think of that, though, isn't it? It's like, that's an implant. It's an implant permanent change, like once it's in there. I mean, obviously, you could take it yeah. out, but it feels like a lot of work. Uh -huh. But then on the other hand, when we just get addicted to things, it's a, it's a, it's a psychological implant. It's a self-imposed, you grant it access and let it crawl into the depths of your personality. And then you can't get it out because you need to know where to find it. Like Inception. I don't know. Leo's in your head. Uh, Leo can, he can, uh. <laughs> He can occupy. He can space. book a. He can book a room in there. Okay, yeah. I'll tell you what. 